Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, and last time we played this, we just got done with Traverse Town. I forgot how many worlds I still have left to go with. I think I have like eight or so. So, we're gonna get this over with, get into probably a cutscene. More than likely, I wouldn't be surprised. And or boss fight, so we'll see what happens in just a minute. Huh? What are you supposed to be? Surprised? I guess you should be. After all, I look just like you. I'll tell you what I am. I'm an exact replica of you that Vexen made from your data. So you're a fake me. Not a fake! I don't care if you're real. You're not better. We share the same body and the same talents. But there is one easy way to tell us apart, though. Unlike you, I fear nothing. Are you calling me a coward? You're afraid of the dark. The darkness inside you still frightens you, no matter what you say. Uh, <sighs> But, I'm different. I embrace the darkness. I can make it do whatever I want. So, I can wipe the floor with you. Yeah, to be honest, I wasn't really hoping for a boss fight here, to, but we're gonna have to do it anyway. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to fucking play this game. Oh, you fucking dick! Oh, well, at least I got him. I got, what, Maelstrom? Maelstorm? What do you want to call it? I'm trying to remember how to fucking play this. I've been playing too many other games recently, so now I'm just confused as hell. So Riku is just, it, he's pretty much the same way as he was when we fought with Sora, practically. So he's really not much of a a huge threat, and I don't think we're... I don't think we gotta fight him all the time. Like, I mean, I don't think we have to fight him multiple times like Sora did. At least I hope we don't have to. You know, the worst part is, I can't tell who's what. I'm gonna fucking die, aren't I? Well, I'm trying to fucking get me to heal up, but I, I can't do it, because... The problem is, he, he's just gonna... Yep. Figures as much. I was hoping I could fucking heal, but the game... Gave me a fucking zero, so there's my death for Riku. Great. I'm playing on beginner. I already died like a fucking idiot. So yeah, I'm I'm actually kind of surprised I'm even, I'm even recording today at all. I I had a little bit of a breakdown issue going on last night where I was just like I don't fucking want to do this anymore, and then now here I am just still doing it like I always do. My main plan is to at least finish Kingdom Hearts. Before I just, you know, if if I ever just decided to stop for a while or take a break, so to speak. So, let's just, this time let's just do this a little bit better. Because I fucked up. I want to have a slight on hand just in case. You know, just in case he does something like this. That's really just going to piss me off. I'd like to have, okay, that's a good enough card and that should work. I don't care for... Yeah, I just want the recover from that. Oh, it did stun him. Okay. I was gonna say, like, I don't care if it stuns him or not. I just want the recover. Um, do I not have enough? Or what? Granted, you could just use a, a zero to break those. If you really wanted to, I mean. That could always come in handy. He's not gonna be able to stop me with this. But that one, yes. Oh, come on! You... You gave me the option and then you just fucked me over with it? Are you serious? Oh wait, I actually stunned him somehow. Okay. I'll take that. I'll knock him out with a nice little zero here. Okay, so the game gives you a shit ton of... Looks like nines. So that's definitely gonna help me out a lot. Oh, well, he's down. So I died once and then I came back and that's it. Nito. Nito! Right up. So that's Riku, probably... Hopefully the last part of him. I really hope to not fight him anymore, because... 
Here's where we're gonna get fucking annoying. Can I pick? Let's see. I'll do my attack boost for once. I need some more damage on here. Kick some ass. Hey, fake! I thought I heard you say you were gonna wipe the floor with me. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm still new. I'll get stronger and stronger. The next time we fight, you're finished. Then let's fight now! <laughs> it's nice having darkness on my side. You are so missing out. How could you be scared of something that can be so thrilling? Enough! <laughs> so now the coward is playing tough. So long, real thing. Hope you don't miss me. Come back! <laughs> no way. I'm not a coward. So, how was the real thing? He's spineless. In no time at all, I'll be better than him. In the meantime, would you be interested in meeting another who's considered a hero? You mean Sora. I hear he's somewhere in the castle. You want me to take care of him? We'll see, yes. I intend to make good use of you. No worries. The real Riku is nothing. Sora won't be either. They're no match for me. Come out! Show yourself, fake! Fake? Oh no. That's not exactly the right word. What are you saying? Isn't he just a copy of me? More like a model. He is an example of what you should try to be. He accepts the darkness. Just like you once couldn't help but accept me. But now you are afraid. Perhaps you are the one who is being fake. Fake when you pretend to have no fear. When have I been afraid of the dark? Inside of the card worlds, you grapple desperately with the darkness. Desperation is fear. You fight the darkness because it is what frightens you. I... Be quiet! Stubborn boy. Then continue your fight if you must. Eventually you will learn. You cannot resist the darkness. Okay, it looks like we have a bunch of new cards to play with. So now we're on... What, basement seven? We have how many more? Like five new cards? Four? We got Atlantica, we got Olympus, we got Wonderland, and we got Halloween Town. So let's just get. Let's do Halloween Town because that one's pretty much the next. It's either Halloween Town or Atlantica. That's usually the one next in order. I'm trying to go in a kind of order I went through when I played, you know, Kingdom Hearts 1 first, but. Well, that's kind of hard to do, I guess. It's weird. It's weird in this game, because you can pretty much just pick whichever one you want to go to, so... Halloween Town's always been the one that's giving me the most trouble. And I might as well get that one out of the way. Granted, it might be... It might be short. I don't know, like, most of these are pretty much short, so we'll see what... 
We'll see what I have to do. Because this is Riku's story. You know, most of these levels are pretty short, which is nice. Short and sweet, the way I like it. Just like my dick. Except the sweet part. It ain't sweet at all. Okay, so... Now, we're at Halloween Town. We got White Knights to deal with. Gargoyles. All the good stuff. We seem to have a few... Decent amount of cards. By that I mean, like, a bunch of nines and zeros. Which is something I really like to have on hand, is a bunch of nines. Because if you don't have a zero, typically a nine's a good way of getting rid of somebody. Because some, you, they can't really break a nine unless they have a nine to duel, to duel you with. Or they have a zero to break you. So, that's it. They only have like two options to do anything at that point. And I like narrowing down my enemy's options, so... I'm all for that. Now, I don't want to give too much away here, but last night, me, me and my buddy David were trying to, like, well, me and my friend David, he's not really a buddy, I guess, he's just a friend, uh, well, I've known for fucking ever. Anyway, we were going to do Resident Evil 5 last night, we were playing a professional mode, so we can do, like, a number of different videos together at the same time. And we just got our asses beat, and we're just like, alright, this sucks. And then, not only that... But, my Elgato fucking crashed on me during the recording and basically fucked up everything and it just... If it fucks up once, no matter what, it fucks up the entire recording. So I'd have to go back and resync everything. And then, the way that Elgato was working at that time, it looked like it was dropping a major amount of frames, which would have just destroyed the entire video. Regardless if I would have synced it up or not, it was just doomed from the beginning. So, yeah, I know. I want I want to do a co-op thing with them, but we just gotta figure out something to do. And besides, we were talking a lot last night about YouTube and stuff. Just things I usually bitch about when I make these videos. And I kind of came to the conclusion that I'm just gonna be here, and that's it. There's nothing more to it besides I'll upload every once in a good while. And if I just have like a random video, which, I, which I've pretty much been doing more of, and I've been getting actually more views on those, I might just start doing those more often. Because it seems to me like people would rather just watch my stupid shit rather than my actual Let's Plays or things that I care to do. Which, I mean, granted, I care to do all of my stuff, you know, why would I even bother doing them if I didn't really care? So, I'm just saying like, more of my attention seems to go on, or more focused on both my streams, which I hate that fact. And then there's, you know, my random ass videos I make. It just, I don't know, my streams that I do and my random videos tend to get the most views out of all of them. Which kind of upsets me because, yes, I am doing this stuff for myself. This is basically for my own entertainment at the same time. But I've grown such a cult following that I feel like I should, you know, record these videos for you guys, at least or some people to watch, and then nobody watches it, so then I feel down about it. And that's just how it works. I can't tell anybody to watch anything, so... You just gotta understand from my point of view that having people on your channel sub to you, you would kind of somewhat expect, you know, a little bit of some, like an audience, but they just don't. Which then again, I don't mean to sound hypocritical because even I do the same thing sometimes too. Where I'll sub to somebody and barely even watch half their content. Only because, you know, I respect them or something. That's pretty much it. But then again, you could say, like, well, if you respect them so much, why don't you watch the videos? And you are correct about that. And that's something I fail to do, so... I really shouldn't be getting pissed off at anybody besides myself. That's the main problem there. I've just been focusing on Hardcore and more because this channel, to me, is just dead. There's nothing going for it, really. And there never will be anything going for it. And there's no huge projects that I love doing or anything like that. Yes, there's Persona, and yes, there's Sonic. <clears throat> but those are just there for now. The time being. One day I'll get finished. Sonic I've been doing for fucking years, guys. It's retarded. Which reminds me, like, most people who sub to me don't even watch my old content either. Which is also funny, because sometimes people tell me to do a certain game or something. And it's like, I've already done that game. It's like, oh... It's like, yeah, you should probably watch my Let's Plays. You should probably watch my videos and look at my fucking playlist. It's not that hard. I mean, I watch... I haven't watched all of HTB's stuff yet, but... I've gone back and watched a lot of their older stuff. 
and I enjoy the older stuff more. They seemed a lot more funnier back then, and now they just don't to me. And that's a problem. Like all these games are doing now, I feel like they're just doing because they feel like they have to rather than they want to. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's the same regard in, with me too. Is like I feel like I'm having to do all these things because I they're expected to be done. I guess my brain expects these to be done. So that's mostly, I guess, why I'm recording today. Because I woke up this morning, not at 12, thank God. I woke up this morning and I was thinking about Tekken for some reason. I was like, man, I really I want to go play some Tekken 7. Go, you know, download Geese and go play him if he's out. Haven't done that yet. Problem is, my PlayStation is filled up with nothing but fucking games. So I have to make space, which really pisses me off. Just to fucking play Tekken because it's, God forbid, a 60, you know, gig download. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Sorry, my bad. I, I have something in my throat today. I don't know what it is. You can make a joke about steaming all you want. It, I don't know what's going on. It, my, it, it's that time of the year where I seem to get, you know, not allergies, but just clogged up the sinuses and shit. So just expect it, I guess. Like, during the summer, we have those fucking cicadas that piss me the hell off. And then during the winter, I have this weird allergy sinus issue going on. Oh, by the way, real fast, one thing I want to talk about. Each world, I guess, actually has a different card to it. So, like, when I was playing through, I think, the first few levels and I had that guard armor and it disappeared once I went to the second world, that was because it was a world-specific card only. I didn't know about that. Again, I was watching SGB play this. That's why. Just because, you know, I, was... I like going through the Kingdom Hearts stuff over and over again. It's, it's really fun. So, anyway, like I was saying... You know, I was like, oh man, I really wanna, really wanna play some Tekken, and then I was like, man, I, I should really just play some Kingdom Hearts. You know, before I do anything, I have time today. I might as well just do it. Just get it over with. It's Saturday. It's almost Christmas time. You know, I got plenty of time to get what I want done, so I might as well just get it done. And really not have anything to really worry about, I guess. Which, of course, knowing me, I'm going to worry regardless of what I do. Hopefully I can get this whole entire thing done in this one thing. I'd like to do multiple videos, but I'm afraid that my thing might fuck up. I think it'd be alright. I think it'd be alright. If I can do an hour worth, it might be fine. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. And then I still got some Bayonetta I want to record commentary for. I already have... I said it like a million times. I already have like the first four episodes recorded. And now I just got the first episode uploaded too, which is great, by the way. It's good it does it. Of course, if you've never been to my second channel and you're wondering where the hell it's at, just go to my channel page and you should find it there. It's not hard to locate, it's just hardcore in guides. That's that's all it is. Which I've been making kind of a small cult following on there. Funny enough, the, immediately after I upload a video, somebody comments, you know, like something about Bayonetta 3, and I was like, oh wow. Figures as much. Like, as soon as I upload anything Bayonetta related after this point in time, I'm just gonna hear nothing but Bayonetta 3. Which, to be honest with you, like, I'm glad that Bayonetta 3 exists, or is going to exist. But to me, it's just not as hype or as exciting as Bayonetta 2 was. Because, like, when I heard about Bayonetta 2 coming out, I was like, holy shit, you know? This? This? They're making a sequel of this? It's... And it's funny because Devil May Cry 5 is coming out. And, well, they're thinking about making it and shit. Like, but they've been thinking about that for fucking ever, dude. Like, after 4 got done... 4 was made back in like 2008 or some shit. So yeah, they've been talking about that for a long ass time. And now they're thinking about bringing this. Like, that's never that surprising. I, It might be cool, but I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it's as good as DMC, the reboot, which I prefer better. I like DMC, the reboot, a lot better than most of the other Demi Cries, personally speaking. And then you have the DMC collection port, which that was what surprised me. That caught me off guard. And I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. So now I'm going to put those on PS4. That's that's cool, you know. I'm glad they're doing that, at least. I'm just saying, like, Bayonet, I'm going to get Bayonetta 3 regardless. I have a Switch, and for Switch only. Which, by the way, if you're going to go bitch about it being, you know, Nintendo exclusive, then I just want to say right now, fuck you, who cares? Go buy a fucking Switch then and stop bitching. By the way, you can go get... I guess they're going to report 1 and 2... For the Switch as well, from what I've heard. So if you haven't played those yet and you're really wanting to play all three, then go play them. Then if you just go get a Switch, it's like three hundred dollars. 
which is quite a bit of money to be honest, but Christmas is coming up, so I'm sure most of you guys probably would have Christmas money. Or get some. You might as well save it up and go get a fucking Switch. Stop bitching. All that damn time. Most games I don't like being Xbox exclusive, but you know, hey, you just deal with them. I've had an Xbox One for a little while, and I just didn't like it. I don't like it anymore. It's, it's not for me. Like, I had an Xbox One, and I had Sunset Overdrive was the exclusive game. Which was an Insomniac game, which, if you didn't know, I like Insomniac. You know, Spyro and Ratchet and all that, which I haven't finished all the Ratchets on this channel, but I've finished all the Spyros. I enjoy them. Of course, it's Disruptor, but I haven't really played that ever. As far as I know, that was their first game. And I played Sunset Overdrive, and I just didn't care for it. I even played the demo for Fuse, never bought it. I remember tweeting it out, too, like, I played the demo. I was like, this could be cool, I'm going to buy it. And then Insomniac's like, yeah, you totally should, dude. It's freaking awesome. And I never did. Just because I'm pathetic. And then I have all the Resistance games. So, obviously, I, you know, was wanting to do everything I could for Insomniac to support them. But then I just, I can't now. And now they're making Spider-Man PS4 only, which... I don't know if I'm going to get anymore or not. I mean, yeah, it's a cool idea. It's just, I don't know if I'm going to get it because PS4 problems and, you know, I just, there's other games I'd rather buy right now. I.e. Mario Odyssey, which is funny because, like, for a while I wanted Hellblade, and now I'm starting to kind of just drop out on that one. Which, I mean, granted, that would be a good game to have regardless. I still want to play it, for sure. I just need to give me another PS4, just so I have the extra space and terabyte on it. Just so I can pretty much do whatever the hell I want on that that system instead of this one. Because my PS4 I have now is just fucked me on the leaf. Like, I, I feel like every time I delete something, I'm breaking it, you know what I'm saying? So... That, granted, having another PS4 ain't going to solve that issue, but it might help out a little bit. And I do have an external hard drive. It just... Everything I do with my PS4, or everything I tried to do with upgrading my system, just... It did never work for me. Nothing ever works. Everything I do in my life just goes to hell, and it just pisses me off. That you tried to do one thing, even for somebody. Even if you tried to do something for somebody else, you get fucked for it. And... That's why I fucking hate my life half the time, because nothing ever seems to go right. It really pisses me off. And then everybody else bitches about it. They bitch about me. They bitch to me about their shit. Like, I don't want to hear your shit. Okay? I have my own problems to deal with, too. That's why I always tell people, like, hey, look, you know, you do what you do, and I'll do what I do. Just leave me out of your business, and I'll leave you out of mine. <laughs> I'll try to, unless you... Well, unless I genuinely cared, I guess, and I was like, whatever else. I'll tell you how it is, but it's getting really annoying with my stepmom pretty much just calling and texting all the time. Just because my sister and her boyfriend say something, they say anything and immediately she picks up the phone and calls me. They're not my fucking problem, okay? None of them are. Nobody's my fucking problem. That's what I just get tired of, tired of hearing. That's my main problem, I guess. So that's a little bit of my business delved into my YouTube videos, which nobody watches, so I'm pretty much just talking to myself. Fine by me. I'd rather have it that way, I guess. I'd, even though I said earlier I want people to watch, but at the same time, like, I just... My brain expects that to happen, but I know it's not going to. So I really just should just keep my mouth shut half the time. Which I open it so goddamn much, and I say so many things in my Let's Plays that even I forget what I say. And of course, you know, God forbid, you can't change your mind when you say anything. So, whatever I say now will come through and will happen. Of course. That's why I just fucking hate this channel so much. I hate it so fucking much. And yet, I'm doing Let's Plays. Let's Plays after Let's Plays. Like, I just need to stop. And I know what happened with the 2017 lineup. It just went to shit. Went to hell. I put way too much effort into something I knew I couldn't do. And what do, you ex what do you expect from me? Do you expect me to be like the fucking god tier of Let's Plays or something? Like to do everything I can? It's not that easy, guys. It's not that fucking easy. It's really not. Of course, you know, I sound like I'm bitching, but... Keep in mind... You try to do this shit and see what happens. Like, it's not gonna be that easy. Half the time, it's not that easy, guys. It really fucking isn't. No matter how much people want to say it is, I, I highly doubt it. So, I would, I definitely just disagree wholeheartedly on that one. Hold horse! 
Yeah, I might just do another video just so I can just cut away into that one. Because we don't have a safe spot coming up yet, so I might need that. Fucking asshole. Covering off me like that? That's bullshit. Wait, what do we... F I forgot what these guys were called, but I know there's... Those search ghosts were here too, weren't they? At least they look like they were. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. And nothing, of course. Let's just go... Well, let's get a few fights done with. Get like 30 minutes worth of footage in and then just stop the video. At least it'll be stopped for you guys. It'll be the next episode for you guys. But I don't know when these videos are going to be uploaded, so don't expect them anytime soon. This is being recorded on Saturday in the afternoon. Like, is it 12 already? Yes, it's 12 already. So, it's, it's pretty much exactly 12 right now. It's 12 09. So yeah, again, don't really expect these to be uploaded straight away, but I do expect them to happen, for sure. Unless something completely, totally, and uh, just unnatural happens and just fucks up everything I've ever done, then yeah. Which, I have a really, really, really bad feeling about what's going to happen on Christmas this year. I just am not ready for that at all. It's just going to go to fucking hell. It's going to be a nightmare. It's either that I'm having a bad feeling about, or it's next year. It's one of these years I have a really, really, really bad gut feeling that something's going to happen. It could just be my brain over, you know, like over-exaggerating something or just overreacting to shit. Like I always do, but I just am not ready. I'm not prepared for the nightmare of what's to come, I guess. I don't know what half these fucking cards do, to be honest. I don't really ever use them. Thing is, I should probably start using these cards, these um, extra cards for, like, boss battles and stuff. That actually might be a little bit better. Okay, we almost cleaned out this entire room, which I have plenty of time to do that. Because granted, these fights don't take long. I kind of wish I could just do, like, an actual slight attack. Would that be cool? You know, just do it offhand without actually having, you know, to basically break cards or get into D mode or whatever it was. Oh, fuck my ass. Poof. Poof. Alright, let's see. How many more do we got left? Not much. Like two, three. That works. I'm starting to kind of hate that little down slash attack that he has because I, well, I wish he would do that spin attack when he's in air, but I don't know how to get that to activate. I don't know if it's completely random or not, because it probably more likely is. I, again, I'm not, like, a complete professional at this game by any means. So, I apologize for being just complete and total disaster. Just complete ass at everything I do in my life. I fucking hate this. This is so fucking stupid. I get a fucking Mickey card and they break it. Because, you know, why not? Because it makes sense. <laughs> a little bit of recovery. I'll take that. Oh, and he actually recovers your cards, too. Oh. I didn't know he reloaded your slides. Your cards, I mean. That's cool. I'll take that. I just want to fucking level up so I can level up my goddamn health or something. Jesus Christ. I have like a hundred more to go, so I'm sure on the next boss fight I'm definitely going to get that. Uh, I really should just go do health rooms or something or just find some somewhere. That should be enough. Especially for what's to come, maybe? I keep saying that. What's wrong with my head? <laughs> Alright, so... We're pretty much good to go now. We're gonna do the boss in the next episode. And I will see you all then. So take care, everybody.